Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus lab read for all of you out there who are willing to know your person's messages for you. What do they secretly wish to reveal with their messages? This reading will help you know that. I will be pulling out some messages from your person only in this reading. So yeah, just stick around and uh, just be mindful that it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. What do they secretly wish to reveal with these messages here? Let's see. What do they secretly wish to reveal? Whoever it is that you have on your mind, you can check this reading for that specific someone. Current, ex, someone specific that you had a crush on. Whoever it is, let's see what do they wish to reveal with these messages here. The person on your mind has something to say. Wow, I'm not going to take all these cards here. So we have our first two cards here. This person really wants you to know that their life is boring, dull, and they're kind of having an aloof time right now. I am holding myself back from whatever that is going on or to deal with something purposely but there is a but there i really feel like now for some of you i really feel like you know your person is choosing to stay away from you choosing to stay silent choosing to stay detached right now purposely they are holding back from this connection they are holding back from talking to you they're holding back from commitment because there is something that they have on their mind right now which is going on like maybe they are indecisive maybe they are like you know approve they are fearful of the approval coming from their family or friends around you uh, maybe they want to purposely you know ignore you or ignore the commitment for now because they want to per pursue their career so it can be different for everyone but they are purposely ignoring that if they want they can give you the commitment that they want that they desire i feel like you know for some of you they are holding back from this connection because maybe they are with someone else right now they're purposely ignoring this situation and connection that they have with you so let's see these messages you have been in my dreams lately this person really wants you to know that you have been staying on them on their mind heavily and dominantly where you are now showing up in their dreams as well i have moved on but i still love you for some of you this person has moved on from you it doesn't mean that they have moved on to a new person it's just that they are trying to kind of like you know stay away from you they have moved on with their life they have chosen a different path for themselves but they still love you that's what they want you to know i am not ready for commitment so maybe that's why they moved on from you or this connection they're trying to purposely stay away from you because they miss you otherwise they want to talk to you otherwise they're trying to hold themselves back I look for you everywhere. This person has been kind of like, you know, even if, if they are like, you know, holding themselves back, it's hard for them because they would love you. They they miss you. They, they are trying to stay away from all and everything. It's not just you. Just be mindful of this because I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, your purpose person is not ready for a committed relationship, which could be the very big reason why they are like right now holding themselves back from you or from the connection. Do you love me the way I do love you? Now, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, your person might have uh, started feeling that maybe you don't love them, especially if you're in a no contact situation and you haven't tried to reach out to them or something like that. Maybe they're doubting your love right now they're questioning do you love them the way they do because they think a lot about you they have been having you in their dreams they have been kind of like you know wishing uh to see you to bump into you without taking action towards you basically i have changed believe me now i really feel like you know for some of you um maybe initially they had fear of commitment but now they're changing themselves for some of you you might be on the receiving end of this person coming towards you for a commitment for something big to offer uh because i really feel like you know for some of you this person really wants you to know that they have changed so they might have changed for better our love is mutual now there you go i really feel like you know for some of you in fact even if you are dealing with a no contact situation they are kind of like you know, purposely staying away from you i really see that eventually this person is going to come to you by changing themselves towards you towards the connection and changing themselves from the you know being fearful to to somebody who's ready for commitment uh so that can also be coming for some of you i am yours forever so this person really wants you to know that they are your forever happy go lucky i really feel like you know, this person really believes that either you are happy go lucky kind of a person or they themselves telling you that you know they are somebody like that they really want to stay happy 
kind of like relaxed they really don't want to take stress about anything they really want to kind of like you know live in the moment and enjoy their life for the uh for what it is for now rather than like you know being in a relationship having the responsibility or something like that let's see the person on your mind has what else to say here to you what else do they wish to reveal to you here what else do they wish to reveal to you here what else would they wish to reveal to you what else do they wish to reveal to you I could not face you for what I did, so I ghosted you. So for some of you, this person is aware of what they did wrong to you. And now they are like, you know, um, they, they want to reveal to you that they ghosted you for a reason. And probably it was not what you thought. Maybe you thought that you know, they moved on or they, they didn't want you or something like that. I really feel like you know, they could not face you for the fact that they could not give you the commitment that they might have promised because they were fearful. So they just chose to ghost you out. I pray, affirm, and believe we will be together again forever. So I really feel like you know even if there is a no contact situation going on, I really see the two of you patching up. I really see the two of you coming again together. I am your man or woman forever. Now, I, I, for majority of you, I really feel like you know, this person has still some, some sort of fears in them around commitment and stuff like that. Because I really see with every card, there, there is like, you know, they are saying something, but deep down they're feeling something else. So I really feel like your person is finding it hard to embrace their own feelings for you. Something is still missing for me, but is that you? Again, they are trying to understand their own feelings for you is what I can see here. They are also trying to understand and embrace what they truly feel for you. It's hard for this person to understand how emotionally attached they are towards you, but at the same time, it's it's like maybe for majority of you dealing with someone who has a lot going on in their personal life, which is the reason why they really want to kind of escape the whole situation for now. Nobody in this world can ever replace you. So this person is, again, telling you one thing very clearly that they have, you know, even if they have moved on from you, it doesn't mean that they have moved on to another person. I really feel like you know, nobody in this world can replace you for them because you are somebody special. They still love you. They still want you. But... I really feel like, you know, this person is going to take time to understand what they actually feel for you. And that is going to change them and make them kind of like, you know, in that position where they embrace what they feel for you and come towards you with, with, a, with a loving offer. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, your person has still so much love for you to, um, to, to give love to you. But at the same time, their, their, their fears are still pretty much there. So I really see this person needing some more time. But I really feel that for majority of you, this person is going to come back to you when they are ready for something solid and stable. Let's see the last few cards from them. What else do they wish to reveal to you? Okay, last card of the read is... I am focused on other things. Give me time. So there you go. I really feel like you know this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, the one that you have on your mind right now, this person really needs some more time. I really feel like you, know, you just have to be patient with them because this person will come to you when they are ready, when they are feeling like you know they, they have changed and they now need somebody in their life where they are ready to embrace their feelings, where they're ready to embrace the fact that they need a happy married life or a committed life. Uh, with a partner that they want to live their life with so i really feel like you know this is how this person is going to come back to you this is when this person is going to take action towards you so i really feel like you need to give this person some space and time and uh, try not to overwhelm with your uh, with your you know overwhelm yourself with the questions with the negativity that you might be having right now around them and their intentions towards you i really see your person needs some more time so try to give this person some space so yeah that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read take care bye